Do we see the truth of that? Not systems are right or wrong, but do we see what the so-called practice of a system of meditation is utterly meaningless? Because you, that makes the brain more and more dull, stupid. Do we see that fact? It may, we may bring about certain results, may calm your body, give you a peaceful night, and so on. You may have certain superficial benefits. But as an act of meditation, it has no meaning. Are we clear on this? Or hearing the, the speaker saying all this, say, I'll go on practicing my method, it has benefited me. And so you are going back to something which you have which you have consciously or unconsciously understood to be the truth, and practice something which is utterly meaningless. You are following all this? And why do we practice? That's one of the most horrible words. Why do we practice? It's like a pianist practicing the wrong note. Right? I hope you see the amusement of it. So, So, you see, throughout the ages, man has sought something which is beyond time, which is beyond thought, beyond all experience, something totally the origin of all things. He, he wanted it, he wanted to inquire, find out. And there were those people who said, well, I have found out, I'll tell you all about it. They were caught in that trap. And that's what most human beings are doing now. They, wa they want something. They're so discontented with life. With all this travail, the meaningless of a, this existence, which is pleasure pain, anxiety, all the rest of it. So the, in that state man inquires out of his deep discontent with life, there is something that is immeasurable. Not the words, not the experience of it, the actuality of it. 